Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to introduce to you REC Foundation Marketing Manager, Ruby Pontbriand. Welcome back to day two of the 2021 VEX Robotics World Championship. My name is Ruby, and I'm so excited to kick off the morning with you. It has been such a wild year, and yet here we are, bringing the excitement and spirit of VEX Worlds to you from wherever you are with cutting edge technology, healthy competition, and of course, a celebration of the accomplishments of our robotics community. One of our major community contributors is Kettering University. Let's take a look at this morning's partner presentation. Hello, I am Dan Mance, CEO of the Robotics Education and Competition Foundation and a 1991 graduate of Kettering University. The REC Foundation utilizes our innovative, hands-on, team-focused VEX robotics programs to increase student interest in STEM and help develop the Industry 4.0 ready workforce. This is just like what Kettering students experience through the project-focused learning programs and unique co-op experience at Kettering University. I'd like to introduce you to Kettering University's president. At Kettering, we love VEX Robotics students, and we want to congratulate you on making it through yet another challenging robotics season. Your ability to adapt, innovate, and continue to build amazing robots and programs is exactly the skill set we look for in students at Kettering University. So good luck to each team, and we look forward to seeing who wins the championship. At Kettering, all of our engineering students use VEX Robotics to learn engineering design and for friendly competition. One of the biggest things that really stood out to me at Kettering was that you, everything you do is hands-on. That is literally the best place for you. Through robotics, I have learned leadership and hands-on skills that I use in the classroom at Kettering and also in the workforce at GM. I'm a current Kettering co-op here at Innovation First International, and my favorite part about this co-op is that it's a wonderful networking opportunity, and it's a unique hands-on experience. In 2021, Kettering University awarded 72 robotic scholarships, totaling in $1.6 million. Being a VEX student, you can be one of those winners as well. We have six engineering programs, computer science and management. Students here go to campus for a three-month academic term, then go to work full-time for paid co-ops for three months as well. You'll enjoy it. One more word from Kettering's president. And don't forget, we at Kettering want you to visit, to apply, and to succeed. Thanks, Kettering, for all of your support. If you'd asked me five years ago if I'd be working for a robotics education nonprofit focusing on engaging students in STEM, I would have called you a crazy person. Since being part of the team, it's been so rewarding and fun to watch the journey of the REC Foundation and our team's dedication to competition, teamwork, innovation, and the power of community. With that, we'd like to share with you a highlight video of our top teams who strived for excellence in this year's Community Award, presented by Google.
Seriously, amazing work from all our teams. Yesterday, we got through 281 driver skills runs and 235 programming skills. On top of that, we'd like to shout out Team 488A for a maxed out score of 252. Now, let's take a look at our leaderboards. In the morning, Science A Division, we saw fierce competition. Can any of these teams in Science B Division provide a challenge? In the afternoon, we saw Technology A, Technology B, Engineering A, home to our event high score, and Engineering B. After day one, there is no way to know who our champions will be, but each division features three win teams. We will know much more information after matches are played today. Now here's John Jack with a take on strategy. Hi, my name is John. As a member of the VEX Robotics Game Design Committee, I love seeing the different approaches teams take to playing the games you create and how strategies develop over the course of the season. One live remote strategy that has been talked about a lot this season is the ability to score more than three balls and a goal and how that can be used to lock in a win and change up. However, we intentionally designed change up to be an on the fly version of tic-tac-toe. In most matches, the alliance of the most connect bonuses will win. Overloading a goal can definitely help by earning your alliance more points or breaking a tie to earn additional connect bonuses. However, if you overload a goal too much, you can actually make it easier for your opponent to earn connect bonuses and increase their chances of beating you. So as you're playing the live remote version of changeup over the next couple of days, carefully consider how and when you decide to overload goals. The autonomous win point, or AWP, is a new element the VEX Game Design Committee added for changeup. It's been super exciting to see teams develop autonomous modes to achieve that win point during qualification matches. So now that we're done with qualification matches, what happens to the AWP in elimination matches? Well, the simple answer is it goes away. The AWP doesn't give you anything in an elimination match. However, the same autonomous mode teams use to achieve the AWP are still useful in an elimination match to help you get an early advantage on your opponent. Speaking of getting an early advantage, Teams can now use the autonomous mode to venture out to the center row and try to use those goals right out of the gate to get an advantage on their opponent. Teams should take note that while the AWP changes in elimination matches, SG2 does not. Teams attempting the center row in autonomous modes still need to avoid touching tiles on the other side of the autonomous line. Once we complete our qualification matches, we will move on to an elimination bracket to determine our world champion. Most of the matches in this bracket will be played in a best of one format. This means that the result of a single match will decide whether or not your alliance is another step closer to being crowned world champions, or if your live remote Vex Worlds run is over. That kind of pressure really turns up the intensity of the competition. The dynamics of the best of one format are very different from the dynamics of the best of three format. Since every match is literally an elimination match, you and your alliance partner don't have the luxury of holding back secret strategies for later or playing it safe in the first match to see what your opponent is going to do. You have to go out and play the best match you possibly can every time you take the field. Our featured team in live remote skills this morning is JROTC team 41829C with a score of 45 from Fort Myers, Florida. All right, a score of 45 points will be sent to you and saved. Also, don't ignore a powerhouse of a team in the Live Remote Tournament Middle School Division. Team 315T partnered with 50075B to score 176 yesterday in our Engineering A Division.
Yesterday was an amazing day of competition to kick off our live remote VEX Robotics World Championship. I look forward to what our next few days have to offer. Join us for Science A and B divisions this morning at about 8.30 Central and Technology A and B with Engineering A and B this afternoon, beginning around 2.30 p.m. We have an afternoon recap around 6.30 p.m. this evening. I'll see you there.